Greetings once again and welcome back to the Lair of Centipedes. Today we have yet another batch of babies to separate from their mother. This time a very small batch. Oh, oh, hi, hi guys, hi, hi. Okay, so, uh, you know, let, 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 let's put the lid on. Let's put the lid on. So what we have in here are black-headed Ethmostigmus ripairs. These are from Western Australia. A very, oh yes, yes, good, good. Go under the hide, go under the hide. No, no. All right, what was I saying anyway? Ah yes, a very cool variant of rube repairs from Western Australia and quite uncommon in the hobby at this stage, so I'm really happy with this clutch, even though it is a very small clutch. Oh, she's settled down and, oh, okay, okay. Go back in, go back in. All right, all right, okay. All right, well, I was just about to say time to get the mother out of the way, but, well, she did it voluntarily. Gave me a heart attack in the process, but there we go. Thank you for that. And she sure is a stunning looking centipede, and we're gonna give her a better look later. We're gonna give her the usual post-clutch feed. But in the meantime, let's focus on her babies. Now, like I said before, this is a very small clutch. There's probably 10 of them in there, if that. I'll look at those antennae coming out. So it shouldn't take that long to get them all out. Hello. Oh, hi guys. Yeah, I thought there was one on this. All right, let's get them out. Let's just, oh, I just ran straight in. Good. Whoa, one of them just ran straight out. Hi. Thought you could escape, did you? Oh, no, you don't. Okay, that's three. That's four. Okay, well that's all the ones that were running around on the surface. There's probably more buried in the substrate though. I, I think that's it, honestly. It's not a very large enclosure, and so not too many places to hide. Well, I've combed the whole enclosure fairly thoroughly, and these are all I've managed to turn out. I think there's maybe seven or eight. I might have lost count. And like I said, with all these squirming bodies here, it's certainly hard to count them in here. But yeah, I'd say less than ten. So the smallest centipede clutch I've ever had. But my oh my, they are certainly cute. Okay, as usual we have a little communal enclosure for them, and I'll be keeping them in this until they reach their next molt. That's what I usually do with peedlings. So when you guys go. What have we got? I should be able to count them like this. Uh, still too fast, can't be bothered. One, two, three, four, eight. Eight. I think there's eight. So yeah. Very small clutch, but that's to be expected because the mother centipede is still fairly young and uh, yeah, when, when centipedes have eggs at a fairly young age, the clutches are often quite small. Right, so that's it for these little fellas. Time to give the mother her feed. Now this will be her first meal in a couple months, so we'll make it a big one. Oh, someone's not very keen. Surely you're hungry after all that. I'll just leave it in there for you. No? Wow. Maybe she's just not very keen on mealworms. Definitely not keen on mealworms. How about a cricket? Surely you won't say no to a cricket. No? Tough customer, wow. Come on. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, for a second I was worried about her. But nope, she's eating. She just needed a little bit of persuasion. So we'll let her stay in there. Once she's finished her meal, we'll get her back into her now baby-free enclosure. But in the meantime, I got something else to show. What we have here is probably the biggest clutch of centipedes I've ever had. This is a second clutch of North Queensland Tiger Form Rube Repairs. And I didn't film the separation of them from their mother because I had just gotten a new microphone. If you aren't aware, well, you are now. And uh, well, there's a little bit of trial and error involved in getting it to work. This was the first, well, meant to be the first video I recorded with it, but the volume was just atrocious. And yeah, there was no way I was gonna upload a video with audio like that. So I scrapped it, fiddled, fiddled around with the settings a bit. And uh, yeah, all subsequent videos were fine. But yeah, like I said, I couldn't post the, uh, the film of separating these guys from their mother, so just thought I'd give them a little feature at the end of this video. So there they are. And there's a lot more of them. It's just they've gone underground because of the light. So that is the end of another video. If you enjoy my content, then feel free to check out some of my other uploads. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of it. Thank you all very much for watching. That's it from me, and I'll see you next time.